there's one thing that I haven't done on this channel and that is show you all of my Nintendo Switch physical games in one video and today is such a day <laughs> welcome to my channel everyone if you are new please um, you know you know what to do okay so we are not going to do this in any specific order we're just gonna go through them all of these covers except maybe a couple are European how or whatever version and cover and that may explain why some of the covers may look different or unfamiliar to you but we're gonna start off with two games that Nintendo of Norway sent to me we have Miitopia which is a new game I have played it a tiny bit and I have a good first impression so far I have created people that I know and myself it's just so much more fun if you create people that you know <laughs> because they will be within the story of the game, if that makes sense. I like it so far, but I uh, need to play it more, of course, uh, as I do with a lot of games. And I also got this one, and I still haven't gotten to open it and try it. It's DC Superhero Girls Teen Power. A mouthful of a title, but it looks fine and it looks cute. I will maybe play that today. Today is such a day for such things. So here's the rest of my collection and I have to say I'm not a collector. I just happen to have games and that becomes a collection because I bought games to play them. Here we have The Witcher 3 and what can I say? It is probably, let me correct that, it is definitely not the best way to experience Witcher 3. But it is, I don't know, amazing in some way, I guess, that they managed to squeeze this on the Switch. The Switch is basically not, in my opinion, powerful enough to run this properly because it looks really muddy on the Switch, but it is very nice for the Witcher fans that are, I don't know, taking the train a lot and do a lot of gaming on the go so that you can get Witcher 3 in handheld. Here we have Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. It was one that I was actually a mm, tiny bit disappointed with, but I can say here we have it. I enjoy Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity way more already. This is gonna be an unpopular opinion, but I feel like the graphics in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity are not good. <laughs> it looks very pixelated and blurry, but the gameplay is you know, where it's at and the world. The setting is within Breath of the Wild. Really nice. Speaking of Breath of the Wild, here we have my first game that I got for my Switch. It should be your first game too. But I have actually heard about people that didn't enjoy Breath of the Wild. So I guess there are such people as well. And within all of my covers, I write the dates of when I bought them. This one says 3rd of March 2017, the release day of the Switch. And the sell the game. And two, three, four. The Switch is four years old. <sighs> oh my. Now, this is a physical uh, copy that I remember Metal Jesus Rocks was like, does that come in physical? I need it. And yeah, it does. Atelier Lydia and Swell. I have this in physical. And it was expensive. GameStop, 669. Anyways, it is a very nice entry to the Atelier series. I did a review of this and I loved it. It's such a cozy time, such a cozy game. And the Atelier series, let me just say, you have to try them. Try some of them, they're so good. So, on to the next games. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is a good game, long game, beautiful game, green grass game and blue sky game, if that makes sense. I got this from Ishaman and he has written a lot of inside jokes on all of these uh, small hearts. I got this for Christmas from him, 2017. One of the first games that I got for my Switch. I still recommend it. <laughs> Here we have Super Mario Odyssey, which is a 3D platformer with the most familiar face in the entire universe of video games, probably. It is signed by Charles Martinet. I met him at the retro convention in Norway when that was a thing. <laughs> Such a fun game. Nintendo never disappoints when it comes to quality of their first party things. Okay, so the next physical game is Titan Quest. It's a game that I played in 2010. It's a game that I bought again when it was ported on the Switch. And it's a game that I reviewed in my Buy or Not series. 
link to playlist is down in the video description for uh, all of my reviews I mean. Fun ARPG. This is more of a niche series. It's in the Neptunia series. It's Mega Dimension Neptunia V2, which means Victory 2. And you play as all of the girls that are fighting in the console war. It's a very cute game, very anime style. I have all of the Neptunia games in my collection actually behind me. And I have been very obsessed with Neptunia series. Anyways, next game is Fate Extella The Umbral Star. I thought it was a good game. It's a Muso hack and slash game. Very cute and very niche. Uh, the fetishes, let's say. They are strong in this one. I bought it 8th of August 2018. Wow. From eBay. The next bunch of physical games then. We have Luigi's Mansion 3. Cute game with Luigi. When I played World of Warcraft, my main character was called Luigi, which was a Draenei hunter. So for several years, I stared at Luigi on the screen. It was my main character. So yeah, I have a thing for Luigi, definitely. I mean, if you name your World of Warcraft character after Luigi, then, then I think we're onto something. Uh, it's a puzzle game within a hotel. You play as Luigi. I am Setsuna, a game that I actually haven't played much. I'm very sorry that I haven't played it, but I have too many games. Probably the most boring cover I've ever seen though. It doesn't really entice me into playing the game. But here's a game that I don't recommend. Uh, it's just too clunky and bad controls. And it's called Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I don't know why I have this in physical. I bought, yeah, I remember now. I bought it along with some other games from a website. And I was like, yeah, let's try that. Even though I knew nothing about it. But it wasn't good, it wasn't good. Sorry, it's a port of an older game, if that makes sense. Here we have Sonic Racing. I remember I bought this when I was on vacation. Memories are coming back to me. I bought this at GameStop in June 19. Sonic Racing, I enjoyed it. Looks good, all of the Sonic characters, a lot of colorful uh, environments to drive through in. And um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed Sonic Racing more than Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled or nitro fueled. I say nitro. This is also a cute game, but I wish I liked it more. The loading screens are just terrible. They're horrendous in this game. LA Noir. I got this from a subscriber of the channel. Thank you so much. And I'm shameful to say that I still haven't played it, but you know what? It's never too late. It is in my backlog and I still, from time to time, think of this game. It's one that I'm going to play. Let me know what you think of some of these games if you have anything to say. And remember, if you are watching on your TV right now, you can also hit like on the video on TV. Just hit down and you find the like button. I just recently discovered Short. a game I hate, but it has such a cute cover. I mean, this can fool anyone. Harvest Life, I don't recommend it, even though I do understand that they were I don't know, two people that worked on the game. So it's super indie developed and all of that and they wanted to make a good harvest sort of life sim game, I guess. But it has just a lot of bugs and it isn't fun. Like the actual things that you do and the graphics are not great. So it's just not a very enjoyable experience and I'm very sorry. <laughs> the cover is too cute though. Here we have Little Dragon's Cafe. I did a review of this and I found it to be unique because it's a game that combines cafe management along with exploring and gathering things, collecting resources. And it also heavily combines it with storytelling of really unique characters, which have stories that in some places interconnect. And I remember it was just very memorable. I remember it was memorable. Here we have Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. The hype was big. The hype was too big when this came out. Everyone talked about it. And that is because it is such a Castlevania style game. And it looks actually way better on other systems than the Switch. But it's a cool game if you're into that genre. It is actually solid. If you are into that genre to begin with, I mean. I like the colors in the game. Here we have a game that I just enjoyed too much. Shining Resonance Refrain from Sweet Asleep. So cute. 
I recently played this again on my Xbox. So I bought this game twice actually, on the Switch and on the Xbox. <laughs> but it was on sale on the Xbox and I wanted to go back to the cuteness. And um, the combat is fun. It's like uh, magic and skills and a bit of feeling of hack and slashness. But that can be really satisfying if you just want to fight something. Though the game is really dated and it has its moments of flaws. So we are down to the last games. Let's go through them. Cena Web Chronicles 2 Torna. The marketing is kind of confusing when it comes to this game because initially I thought it was a DLC of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 but when I popped this in it had nothing to do with my save file from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 which I thought this is a standalone game Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna the Golden Country it's pretty much the same as uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 but it's a tiny bit maybe better but I haven't played it too much so I who knows, I don't know. Astral Chain. I consider this to be one of the titles that I heavily recommend when I get the chance to. When people say that I haven't played Astral Chain, I'm the one that speaks up and says, you have to try it, you have to play it. It is so unique and so beautiful. So beautiful. It looks super sharp on the Switch. Makes sense though, since this is an exclusive to the Switch. You can't play this game anywhere else. I made a review of this game and I want you to take a look at that review if you're interested, but I love it. Just looking at it now makes me want to play it again. Cute. Another game that I reviewed on my channel, one of my most viewed videos. It's such a cringy video. But this is uh, Harvest Moon, Natsume Harvest Moon, not the original Harvest Moon. This is the new series that is not good, not Story of Seasons good. And it disappointed in a lot of ways. But I got my fair time in it, 25 hours, can't complain, I guess. But yeah, that was that. A game I highly recommend right here and right now. I want everyone to play this game, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. It is a port slash remaster of the Wii game. And I played this on the Wii. It is a huge world, not exactly an open world, but almost huge open areas connected with some loading screens, some places, but basically huge worlds. And you roam around, you explore, you fight, and you just have a lot of fun doing all of the side quests. Such a fun game. Highly recommend this game. So good. So good. Next game that I always seem to recommend, also, whenever I get the chance. Fire Emblem Warriors. It is my favorite Muso game on the Switch. Maybe even ever? Yeah, may actually be that. Considering how many hours I played this game. It's one of my most played games on the Switch, still. Uh, I was super obsessed, I don't know what it was. It was like the characters and the leveling and the graphics and the music and the gameplay, I don't know. Ooh. Here's a game that I own on every single system. Every system that I own, I have Skyrim on them. Skyrim is a game that I replay often, and actually, no joke, I started Skyrim on Game Pass on my new Series X three days ago. Started a wood elf, and I'm gonna try and be a one-handed person this time, but I guess we all know that we are gonna end up as a sneaky archer either way. This is an open world. Super open world. Maybe even the best open world I have played, maybe. It is uh, officially though my favorite game in the world as of right now. When someone is asking me what's your favorite game in the world I have ever played, I, uh, you know, my automatic response is Skyrim. And Skyrim has become a, such a meme on this channel. So yeah. Skyrim. <laughs> if you have been around here for some time, you know that. Next game is one that I said that I couldn't get truly into, but I am still not giving this game up. I will pick it up again and try again to get into it later, sooner or later. Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition. <laughs> Long titles. But yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's just something that I just can't seem to get into, but I want to. And uh, I remember when this game was announced, long before it came out, that I, I knew that I would love it, but when I got it, uh, not so much. So that was such a weird thing. I guess I could say that I was just wrong, I guess. 
Next game is a game that I highly recommend also. First part in Nintendo game, Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's a tactical RPG game with a lot of life simulation elements put into the mix where you get to know your um, fellow students in this dorm. And there's also a war. There's just so many characters in this game though. Very memorable game also. I loved it. Uh, did a, also did a review of that. <laughs> also did a review of that. So yeah, a lot of these games that I'm showing right now I have done full reviews on with a bunch of details and gameplay and all of that. All, all the things that you need to know, basically. Uh, so, you know, you know where to go if you want to check out some of my reviews. But anyways, <laughs> here we have Dragon Quest Builders 2. One of my favorite games on the Switch. Hands down, one of my favorite games on the Switch. One of my most played games on the Switch also. Such good freedom in this game. There's multiplayer, you can build anything you want. Such a long and fun story campaign and I loved every single second of this game. I was super addicted. I mean, I lost so much sleep over this game because I played it when I was supposed to go to bed, etc. Which means the game was just really good. <laughs> okay, we're down to the last three games. We have Labyrinth of Refrain. Such a hidden title. I found this just by accident and just by random. By random. And uh, I like the art style. Well, you go through Labyrinths and it is a dungeon crawler RPG. It is actually not too bad. Next up is Pokemon Shield. I got this from Ishrama for Christmas, I think. Uh, but I remember now that I lost my save file in this game and that was sad because I had named all of my Pokemon unique names 50 hours into the game and I was so ready to play the DLCs. I bo even bought the DLCs, but then I lost the save file because I transferred my Switch over to a new Switch, which did not carry over this specific game and Animal Crossing, actually. Sad times, but good game. I enjoyed it. It was much better than uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. That's for sure. Lord. The last game now is Victor Ran, one of my first reviews in the Buy or Not series on my channel. Such a good ARPG and I have a thing for ARPGs. Diablo style, Titan Quest style, Victor Ran, the Torchlight series. I have them in digital though. So Victor Ran is also definitely deserving a mention whenever I talk about ARPGs on the Switch. So that was all of my physical games for the Nintendo Switch. I hope you really did enjoy this video. I enjoyed just talking with you guys. As you can see, I'm not a collector. I have, in fact, almost all of my games in digital on my Switch. That is explaining why this is so little why I don't have more physical. I mean, considering all the review calls that I've gotten because of my channel over the years, all of them are digital. And I love to wishlist all of the games that I am looking for, looking out for on the Nintendo Switch eShop. And whenever there is a really good sale, I buy my games digitally, which I find to be fine. I don't mind having digital games. In a way, it just, takes up less space if I'm gonna continue to do this for the rest of my life, which I know I will. So I don't mind the digital era we are entering. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. I hope you do want to subscribe to this channel if you made it this far into the video and I will see you later.